Introducing the new DJI Avada FPV drone, an immersive way to fly, film, and photograph in first-person view. With its compact, palm-sized design, it's both nimble in tight spaces, but packs a serious punch as an all-around drone. So what is FPV? FPV stands for first-person view, putting you in the pilot's perspective, but requires the use of DJI goggles to fly rather than using a smartphone or a monitor to preview. Aside from initial activation, you won't need a smartphone or monitor from there. If you aren't familiar with DJI's FPV line of drones, the best part about them is that they're ready to go out of the box, they offer incredible image quality, and overall, the perfect solution for those getting into FPV drones. Today, we'll be testing Avada in both an indoor setting at the famous b &H Superstore and also an outdoor setting in upstate New York to really put this drone to its test. But first, let's talk about some features and specs. First off, this is a powerful drone. While only being a nimble 410 grams, this drone can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour in manual mode and still be able to perform agile maneuvers with ease. While flying at such high speeds, it's good to know that the DJI Avada now features a built-in ducted propeller guard design, making it similar to Cinewhoop style drones. This feature makes it much safer to fly indoors and takes some of the worry away from hitting objects when flying in close proximity. Additionally, DJI's intelligent flight battery for the Avada allows for up to 18 minutes in flight during normal usage. Safety features of the DJI Avada include multiple return to home functions for both flying out of range and also a low battery return to home. There's also turtle mode, which probably sounds kind of funny, but should the drone fall on its back, it'll leap back into action so you can continue your flight. Lastly, another holdover from the first generation of DJI's FPV is the emergency brake function featured on both of its controllers. This will bring the drone to an immediate halt and hover so that you can reset and reorient. Now let's talk about camera specs. And although this drone may be small, it is no small feat when it comes to its camera, which is quite a breakthrough for filmmakers getting into FPV. The camera features a whopping 48 megapixel, one over 1.7 inch CMOS sensor a wide-angle fixed f2.8 aperture lens, and an ISO range of 100 to 6400 in auto mode and 100 to 25600 in manual mode. With DJI Goggles 2, which we'll talk about in one moment, you can shoot in 4K at 50 and 60 FPS, 2.7K at 50, 60, and 100 FPS, 1080p at 50, 60, and 100 FPS, and with DJI FPV Goggles V2, you can shoot at 4K at 50 and 60 FPS, 2.7K at 50, 60, 100, and 120 FPS, and 1080p at 50, 60, 100, and 120 FPS. The Avada shoots MP4s at up to 150 megabits per second. Additionally, the DJI Avada features two color profiles, standard and decent alike, for those looking to dive into the world of color grading to truly make your drone footage pop. D Cinelike is a flatter profile which offers more versatility in post-production. When it comes to stabilization, which is crucial for FPV drones, DJI has incorporated two methods of electronic stabilization, Rocksteady and Horizon Steady. Rocksteady 2.0 for real-time shake reduction, as well as Horizon Steady, which locks the horizon in footage. DJI Avada features an internal storage of 20 gigabytes and supports micro SD cards up to 250 gigabytes. Next to that, it features a USB-C port for transferring your photos and videos. Next up, let's talk about flight modes. DJI Avada features three different flight modes, two of which may be familiar to you if you're coming from the Mavic lineup or the Phantom lineup. With the controller switched to normal mode, you'll be hard pressed to tell much of a difference in flying a Mavic, but with the added benefit of seeing first person through the DJI goggles. Meanwhile, in sport mode, you'll enjoy faster speeds and maneuverability while still having the downward sensor engaged. Here's where it gets extra fun. DJI's manual mode, often referred to as acro mode amongst those in the FPV drone community, allows the operator to have full and complete control of the drone. I'm talking flips, barrel rolls, S-turns, and more. Do be mindful that manual mode can be pretty tricky to master, so be sure to spend extra time in DJI's flight simulator app, which we'll talk more about in just a moment. Also, let us know if you'd like to see a video on how to get started with FPV drones and how to fly manual mode, and we just might have a video coming on that soon. Aside from the Avada, DJI is also releasing a new sleek pair of goggles today called the Goggles 2. Sporting a more compact size, foldable antennas, and upgraded diopters, it also features two HD micro OLED screens with a refresh rate of up to 100 Hz. 
DJI's Goggles 2 has an SD card slot to record what you're seeing, including the on-screen display. Additionally, the Goggles 2 support head tracking mode that allows you to experience immersive flight by controlling the drone's camera with your head movement. Goggles 2 also adopts DJI's latest flagship O3 Plus video transmission, which can achieve high definition and low latency video transmission. DJI Avada also supports the use of Goggles V2 from the first generation of DJI FPV. Here are some of the transmission specs when it comes to Goggles 2 and the DJI Avada. The max video transmission quality is 1080p, max video transmission frame rate is 100 fps, the lowest video transmission latency is 30 milliseconds, the max video transmission range is 10 kilometers, the max video transmission bit rate is 50 megabits per second, and the video transmission coding is H.265. The DJI Avada FPV drone has multiple RC options ranging from the DJI Flight Motion Controller to the DJI FPV Remote Controller 2. The DJI Motion Flight Controller offers intuitive, easy to use controls and accelerates by just squeezing the trigger and turns with just a twist of your wrist. The DJI FPV Remote Controller 2 may be better suited for those interested in precise flight and manual mode. The remote is similar to other DJI drone remotes, but without a smart device holder and the ability to adjust the thumbsticks on the back. DJI Goggles 2 is also compatible with DJI's virtual flight app, and you can try all of its different flight modes before taking your investment to the skies. Again, it's crucial to get as much practice as you can in the simulator on all modes, but especially if you're thinking about throwing the drone into FPV manual mode. You can connect it up to the goggles and controller and practice as if you're really flying the drone. Before using manual mode, you will have to adjust the screws on the back of the remote controller. This ensures that the toggle won't bounce back into its place as other drone remotes commonly do. So now it's time to actually fly this thing and we're gonna start with an indoor setting and where better to do that than the B&H Superstore in New York City. Come fly with us. Heading towards tripods, almost there. It's so smooth, it kind of feels like you're just spectating in real life and you're just kind of floating in the air. This is so awesome. Flying a drone around the Superstore, an FPV drone especially, is like experiencing the Superstore in a whole new way. It's a little dark over here, but you can see that the camera on this new FPV Avada handles it really, really well. Guys, I'm flying around the Empire State Building right now. This is, this is crazy. I didn't know you were allowed to do that. That was so much fun flying around the B&H Superstore. I think we're ready to take this thing outside in the wilderness to test out the sport mode and the manual mode and also see how it handles in the wind. Let's go. It's important to note that the FAA requires the use of a visual observer when using FPV drones. This is because the goggles actually block the operator's line of sight. So using a visual observer is imperative to maintain that line of sight. It's clear that DJI paid close attention when crafting this new DJI Avada drone, and it really opens up FPV to a large number of people looking to explore this new realm of drone flying. But let us know what you think of the DJI Avada and where you might fly it. Let us know in the comments below. My name is Matt, and thanks for watching.